Good morning, my fit sisters. I'm jumping on today to do a highly requested hair tutorial. How I do my hair in these nice, voluminous, kind of loose, textured curls. I often wear my hair like this and the amount of comments I get via YouTube and on my Instagram about how I do this style, the amount of pleas for a hair tutorial, I thought I'm gonna have to do this. So before I jump into this incredible style and exactly how I do it I thought I would quickly take you through the products that I'm going to be using so I will be using the Dyson air wrap today not sponsored remotely but this was actually a gift from Rachel for Christmas and I find it so amazing today we're just going to be using the two longer curling barrels so I'll show you what those are obviously one for each side of your curls or each side of your face so that we get that nice curl away look which I'll explain more in the video here are the barrels and here is the connection. So that basically comes off the top and that's the Dyson and you can basically fit heaps of different connections on top. So other than this, I'm also going to be using a pre and post hair styling product. I find that this does help keep the curls in place. So without making them really stiff. My pre product is the Kevin Murphy blow dry. So that's just this one. My post product is just a Schwarzkopf styling spray. This is a maximum hold number five, but it's a lacquer. So it is a flexible finish, which I do think is important. No one wants stiff hairspray curls. We just want that natural glowy look. Other than that, I just have a comb. Highly recommend styling curls with a comb over a brush and some hair clips. Now you will see, but the way I basically start my hair for any kind of styling is to wash it the night before and then I let my hair air dry. When my hair is damp, I always place a hair oil in my hair. This allows for a soft, shiny finish. I cannot recommend applying a hair oil enough. It makes such a difference to how my style looks, frizziness and just that shine that you can get when using a hair oil. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this hair tutorial. Enjoy. So to start this tutorial, and I do apologize because I'm definitely no hair artiste and some of the phrases I might use or references may not be correct, but we're going to give ourselves the part that we want to set for the, the style. I'm going to go a middle part just for simplicity. So I do have my comb and I'm just going to, we're going to go rough here kind of just go through the middle. I find when you're curling, a middle part works best because then when you're tossing your hair from like side to side throughout the day, or if you want to do a different part, you know, from one day to the next while it's still styled, you can and the curls fall really, really nicely. So this side, we're not going to worry about too much right now. I'm going to do one side at a time. Now with your barrels, so as I was talking about, I have two barrels, one for each side of the hair. You basically, when creating this look, you want to focus on curling your hair away from your face. In order to do that with the Dyson barrels, you need to choose the arrows that when you're looking like in a mirror, the arrows are essentially going away from your face. So you'll see this side is going away. So that is for my left side. And this side is for my right side. Sounds tricky, but this is going to make a huge difference to not only how the style looks, but how long the style lasts. I'm going to take the left barrel and put, connect this into the, the Dyson. And then I'm going to take one of my clips and I'm going to section out just the first, I guess, layer of my hair. Little tip with this, you don't wanna to go too much hair. My hair is naturally quite thick. I do have a lot of hair and I find the Dyson barrels just can't take too much hair. It just doesn't, the curls basically just don't work. I have since learned that Dyson have brought out barrels for longer hair. So they're basically like this, but they're like way longer, which I do want to get because I feel like these are quite short and you'll see with some of the pieces of my hair, it wraps around too much and then it loses that initial curl base. So I'm gonna go in with my pre style product. Basically, you can apply this to dry hair, remembering that the Dyson can be like used on damp hair or dry hair. So making your hair a little bit 
damp is okay. Next tip, you always want to brush through your hair before you curl. Let's go. So I've got my Dyson on the highest fan setting, the highest heat setting. I'm basically going to split this probably into three and this is so simple. It wraps around. Push it up to cold. baby curl so just for now leave that curl don't run your fingers through it don't break it up just go straight to the next section and start to curl I always turn the um, machine off to get the curl out I just find I'll show you what happens if I don't it does this really weird thing with the curl See how like it kind of makes it go a bit like twisty and it, when I've got too much hair on like a lot of hair on the barrel, it's no good. So I just I just turn it off. So this is you do want a nice tight curl to begin with. This is great. So without brushing the curl, I notice a lot of people brush their curls and I find for me personally, the style is just immediately lost. You're going to get your post styling and you're essentially just gonna lightly, like we don't wanna to put too much hairspray in the hair, really lightly hairspray the area. Again, we're not brushing out the curls. We're gonna leave these curls the way they are for this entire styling session. So then we're just gonna go back in and grab another section. So I kind of just get these curls and brush them to the back. They'll come forward a little bit, but you kind of don't wanna curl over the stuff you've already done. You, you know, you wanna apply as least heat as possible to an area. Okay, going back in. If I look like behind, it's because I've got a mirror. So always make sure the ends grab first. softly be gentle to your curls while they're still like like they've just come off the barrel because even though you're using the cooling sex like system as well they're still gonna be quite warm. amazing I got everything yes I do lightly so look this section this Part of my hair is honestly almost done. What I'm gonna do with this top section is kind of start with the back half. This is the back half. I'm gonna tie the front half up because you this like the top sections you wanna put a little bit of time into. Because whilst the bottom section you just want to focus on the amount of curl that it has because it's going to give you your volume the tops going to really determine how the style looks because it's what initially like falls over the top of your hair so grabbing my spray and then I'm probably gonna break this into three I would say by the feel I might be doing this a little bit rushed. You do really get the feel of it. You kind of know what, what you can manage and what you can't. And I always kind of play with... I always kind of play with the hair on the barrel. I kind of move it up and down a little bit. And I just feel... Like, I keep a touch feel to make sure it's not getting too hot. If it does start getting too hot, I immediately put the cooling function on. I do not believe in like over styling and overheating your hair. It's when, it, that's how you get really damaging, frizzy hair. Um, I managed to do this in two. these luscious curls so they're all nice and tight they're holding their volume and we want to keep it like that for now 
So now we're gonna go to the front. I do spend a little bit more time on the front and I basically allow for smaller sections because what you want is for like this bit to look like curly, but voluminous, but not too set in place really section out so that there's like a lot of little smaller curls because that then allows for a bit more volume and a bit more like just a bit of, a bit of wildness and so that everything isn't so set and doesn't look so done this can be my first piece I'm just gonna pop this over here now because I kind of know that section I love this stuff because it doesn't make my hair oily Smaller sections would allow for a really nice curl. Remembering as well, the front part of our hair is what gets most used. It's most styled. Like I won't style the back of my hair more than once or twice a week, but I often will redo the front parts like almost every morning. We're really making some progress here. Plus side to this vlog is that I'm essentially gonna have amazing styled hair for a Wednesday. I'm gonna put this piece over here. I'm also going to show you why a middle part is good when you're curling. Even if it's not your natural part, it's a great part to curl from. And I'll show you why. So you see, I'm, I'm taking quite thin pieces now. And I could get away with thicker, but remembering goal is nice, small, curly bits. Woo! She's a little beauty. Look at those curls. really does love hair that's like it's just ever so slightly wet. You don't want it damp, like it, it won't work. Okay, so let me show you side of her. Ignore this side. She's not done. But this is a bit of a before and after as well. So this is my hair post wash. Absolutely nothing done to it but some oil. And this is my hair post curls. This is why I place an oil in my hair before I do any sort of styling. So when my hair is damp, I immediately put a hair oil in because it can give such a shiny finish to your style. I would avoid putting oil in my hair for curls while my hair, just before, I always like to do it when my hair's damp. So now, again, I'm gonna leave this side and I'm even gonna leave this top part because I am gonna do a little bit more to that and I'm gonna show you what I do. But for now, I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to curl this side of my hair. Keeping in mind, I'm going to change the barrel over now. What's really good about this is you just unclick it. I always grab from the top because this is quite hot. And then I'm going in with the barrel that faces away from this side. Let's get started. I'll, um, I'll speed this up, but I will show you what I do.
vlogging style, of course the camera overheats. I'm back, I'm hoping that it can last just that little bit longer while I show you the end product. As you can see, these are the end product of the curls. I am so, so happy with how they've turned out. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and style my front bits and just give my front bits a little bit more volume than what they already have. And then I'm going to show you how I finish this style. So with the front bits, I'm just going to kind of grab like the little main ones. And I'm just, I, I end up like sometimes grab the longer bits, that's okay. Give it one more little spray. And then I'm just gonna come in and curl them so I kind of like treat them like bangs and I curl them up and away just to give them that little bit a little bit more of a voluminous look and feel so then from here on, I'm going to be honest, I don't brush out my curls. My hair is very heavy and whilst it's got some wave to it, it's definitely not curly. So my curls do drop. When I do my hair for something like a special occasion and there's weather involved, wind, humidity. Curls just don't love holding. I find with the hairspray and the blow dry extra smooth, it does hold it, but it's going to drop. Worst case, you can run your fingers through it just a little bit, but by the time I head out the door, these curls will be a much, much more relaxed without having to brush them. So then when, hi there. So then what I do is I just go in across the top layer with a little bit more final hair styling product. What I love, and this is why I was saying always, if you can, style your hair from the middle, is I can kind of then choose my part. So I can go to the left side of my face, or I can kind of toss it up and come over to the right. And I get that voluminous look either way. Whereas I do find when I part to a side and style, that side's really flat, it ends up really flat. Whereas this gives me a lot more volume and a lot more fun, messy, wild, kind of free curls that can go in either which direction. Girls, I do hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. I'm all for simplicity, making things quick and easy. I did fast forward a bit of this, but this would normally take me probably about 20 minutes. With the amount of hair I have, that is great. <laughs> Comment below if this is going to be something that you try or if this has helped you style. And until next time, I will love you all, leave you all, and see you in our next vlog.